Hey, what's going on? It's your Black 97 here, back with another pack break. Today we've got the third part of the Project CCG mail day break. We've gotten a boatload of cards from Project CCG to where we actually had to divide this up into four separate pack breaks. So you kind of get the gist by now. Tons of deck profiles, tons of binder pages, tons of cards. So without further delay, let's jump into part number three. Oops, got a straggler there. Starting off with... Our straggler, another copy of TGX1 HL. Not really sure what the HL stands for, but it's good spell and trap removal. Plus it's a quick play, so it's like an archetypal MST. Three copies of TGSX1. Kind of an interesting little trap. Just a nice way to uh, revive your TG synchros. Just to help out those uh, main phase two plays. Probably won't be running this one, but good to still have a play set just in case. Same thing goes with their continuous spell, TGX 300. Just a nice way to boost up some of your tech genus cards. Probably won't be running this, but still looks super cool. May as well just have a few copies just in case. One copy of TG Rush Rhino. Kind of just like him. He just looks super cool. Plus it's a pretty decent, nice little attack boost. And then standard tech genus search effect during end phase. Always love to see it. Tech Genus Booster Raptor, nice little level one that we can special summon if we control a Tech Genus card, and then the standard search effect during the end phase. What's nice about uh, running Tech Genus Limiter removal is you don't have to rely on stuff like Fossil Dig Engines, or I believe Rekindling is the spell card for, it's kind of like a reinforcement of the army for Pyro Monsters, so you don't have to worry about running that in the case of something like Rocket Salamander. With Tech Genus Limiter removal, you can pretty much get access to stuff like Rocket Salamander, and your Booster Raptor. Moving on to the Speed Duel section of our mail, we have two copies of Gear Freed the Iron Knight. This one was just so much fun to summon back in the day. He just looks super cool and pretty decent level four monster as well. Woo! Quite a few copies of this next one. Two play sets of Floodgate Trapple. Just nice to get uh, copies of the Floodgate just in case we need to play defensive or just kind of protect some of our monsters on field. Had to restock up on those. And then finally, four copies of Night Beam. Nice way to uh, destroy set spell and traps your opponent controls, and your opponent doesn't get to activate that targeted card in response to it. So it's a nice way to really snipe out stuff like your opponent's floodgates or some of their battle traps that you really don't want to deal with later on. That'll do for today's pack break. Thank you all for watching, and we will see you for the final part four.